right, so we've got our first uh, couple pieces cut out here and I've got everything kind of uh, laid out on, on the ends. So this is for our first cabinet. This is gonna be the cabinet that's gonna go right next to the refrigerator down there. It's gonna be a, a little bit of the, the more regular size cabinet, be longer um, and the regular depth of a, of a cabinet. This is gonna be the one that will eventually have a sink uh, in the top of it as well. So I've just laid everything out. And so what I have found, I grabbed a couple two by fours and just lay them on my workbench. And this is just how I break down uh, sheet goods or P, you know four by eight sheets of plywood. I don't have a really great space to do it. My table saw really isn't really easy to put sheet goods through it. It's also, I don't have a fence that's wide enough where I can actually uh, cut pieces this wide. So the widest I can cut on that is actually 16 inches. Uh, so I did the best I could without using any kind of straight edge or anything, just a chalk line and just uh, guiding the, the hand saw down as, as best I could. The kind of plywood that I'm using here, this is actually the cheapest um, double-sided finished plywood you can get. It's called Sandy, I believe. Uh, this is $49 a sheet, so I spent 100 bucks on the plywood. The birch and oak and other kinds of plywood were 89 or 90 or more dollars a sheet. And so everything I'm doing here is paint grade. So any stuff like this that I have, uh, that can all be filled in with, with wood filler. Uh, and, and I'm gonna paint all this. So I'm not worried about this being, uh, I'm not, not good enough yet to do <laughs> finished grade uh, cabinetry. So all this will be painted. So I can use filler on anything that I need to, to uh, tidy it up at the end. So what I have laid out here, these are the two ends. Uh, there'll be a middle divider as well, but I'm gonna get the two ends and the back and the floor uh, put on first and I'll get this put together and then I'm gonna build from there. So I drew out the, the toe kick. I'm doing a three and a half by three and a half inch toe kick. So this is just when you walk up to the front of the cabinet, this will be the front of it, your, your toes sit right in here. And so you can actually get closer to the cabinet. Uh, the countertop will be on the top of it there. And so this just uh, gives a spot for your toes. It's just more comfortable. So if you look at all your kitchen cabinets or, and bath cabinets, they all have a, a toe kick. So right on the top of this will be the bottom. Um, there'll be a dado cut out here. So I'm all, also using, this is all half inch, so I'm going cheap, uh, not even using three quarter inch plywood. So I'm gonna be uh, putting a, a dado in here. So I'm gonna cut out half inch, a quarter inch depth deep, and that'll allow my, my bottom piece to fit right in here. And so I'm gonna do that with the table saw all the way across. I'm gonna cut that notch out or that dado out. And then the same thing along the back, I'm gonna have a quarter inch piece of panel that goes in the back. And I want that to slide right into the end of this. It's also gonna fit down notch into the floor. And so it'll kind of have a little groove that the, the backing sits into. Now I've left that a half inch away from the back because in the end, I'm gonna use some of my half inch plywood to uh, connect the, the two sides together to, to sturdy everything up. So let's get to work.
All right, we're coming along pretty good here. The, the carcass of the, the cabinet is pretty much done. So I just have the, the face uh, frame to put on there. And so for that, I'll be using this uh, three quarter inch by inch and a half uh, poplar. And I've got some of it cut and laid out here. So this is gonna be where the sink will be. And so there'll be a, a fake drawer uh, frame, you know, right here at the top because the sink will dip down in there. We can't get an actual drawer in there. So we gotta frame that in. And then over here, this side, there's gonna be three drawers. So there'll be one, two, three. Um, there'll be different sizes. The top one's gonna just match the, the, um, the frame all the way across. And then the next two, I'll try to split the, um, the depth of them or I might just do the same as the top and then whatever's left, I'll just leave the, the bottom drawer a little bit bigger. This whole side right here is just gonna get a big one big cabinet door on it. All of this will go together with, uh, with pocket screws. So we'll, we'll pocket screw all this together and then we'll, we'll put wood glue on the whole frame. We'll put it on there and then we'll use uh, brad nails to uh, secure it. We'll just brad nail right into all this whole thing. I just purchased the, the Craig Jig um, pocket hole jig. And it's the first time I've ever used pocket holes for anything. I've, I've never really been a huge fan of, of this kind of joinery, I guess. Uh, but I will say that it is uh, working pretty good. I, I had a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, these ones here turned out really well. Uh, you have to be really careful when you run the, the pocket screws in. Uh, when I put them in there, if you just go a little bit too far, they, they pop out the bottom. And so I just had to be really careful with that. And I also had to adjust my uh, spacer here, or my stop. Uh, a little bit to, to make it just right. So I practiced a little bit, but the first couple that I put in up here, they did not turn out good. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to see how they're, they're sticking up, protruding from the, the top. So I'm gonna actually take these out and uh, I might have to try to redo a pocket hole there, or I may have to re redo this whole top piece. Now, none of these cabinets are, uh, you won't see the ends of these either. And so anything like this um, some of the the plywood i try to put the the ugliest sides on the on the out on the outside there because that's going to be you know covered you won't see any of this and also because this is all paint grade i can come by with wood filler and just you know fill in all these brad nail holes if i wanted to so i'm just gonna be just work on this uh this face frame get this all pocket hole screwed together and then i will uh, nail it to the front here and we'll be we'll be done with this piece Well, we are pretty much done with the carcass of the first cabinet. And I've also got this one put together off camera. Uh, this one, so this is kind of how they're gonna be configured. There'll be one right over here, and then there'll be a sh this shallower one here. This one's only 12 inches deep. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do on this side cabinet yet, whether I'm just gonna put uh, some cabinets below, and maybe two drawers at the top but you have two drawers opening in the same corner. That could be kind of weird. I'm not sure how well that'll work yet. So I gotta 
kind of sort that out. Um, I might put a dummy drawer on one side and then a real drawer on the other side and then two cabinets below just so you don't have the issue of, of trying to pull these two drawers off together just because it's so tight. So I just used some uh, drywall mud to, I, I've done this for years on uh, plywood projects like this, just use drywall mud to just kind of make sure that these seams end up uh, coming out just, just perfect. Um, this is a little nail hole. Those will be, this will all be sanded down. So I'm just waiting for it to dry. I also had a, a spot right here that was just about a 32nd of an inch off, maybe 16th of an inch off. And uh, so I tried to kind of mud that smooth a little bit. So obviously the advantage of these being paint grade is that I can do this. Uh, everything doesn't have to be exactly perfect and I can use face nailing to secure things as along with the wood glue. And all this is gonna turn out just perfect. Once it's painted, you'll never see any of these joints. It'll look like one, one solid piece. So for my first time uh, making cabinets, uh, I'm happy with uh, what we got. That is the, the basic process of making the, the carcass of the cabinets. So what do we have left to do? Well, we have some painting to do, obviously, once these are kind of finished up, put together and sanded, we'll be painting everything. And then I do have some doors and drawers to make. So in the next couple of videos, we will show you how we are mounting the drawers, making the drawers, and also the cabinet doors. And we have a very unique countertop that has to be built for these. So stick around for future videos on this project. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you're a professional cabinet maker or woodworker out there and you have some good tips and tricks, I, I would love to, to hear from you. Uh, throw that stuff down below in the comments. That helps me and it also helps the other viewers who are watching this video maybe years from now. So I'd love to hear your feedback. If this is your first time here to the SSL Family Dad channel, I'd love to have you subscribe as well as uh, be sure to check out the previous videos where we kind of got into this project on the game bar. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.